Well, it's finally time to get the Subaru out for 2009. It's been sitting there since November 2008. Haven't been driving it because I gotta flip it over or pick it up or something to fix the leaking oil pan. So I guess that's today's job. So I added a liter of oil and a battery. Just enough oil to get it back to the shop and pick it up. Let's see if it's gonna start. It's the most grown-in car on the farm if you like starting grown-in cars. It's going to be a mess when I first turn the wipers on. But of all the cars in the farm, this has the best new car feel to drive. Sounds awesome too. <clears throat> 251,000K. Don't even know if that battery is good, but we'll find out. <clears throat> Come on. Contact. Oh yeah, clutch. Oh man, this car has never let me down. What is it, the first week of November this thing was here? And she fires right up. Sweet. On gas it's almost two years old. Because that's how long it's had that problem with the oil pan, so I haven't been driving it. Now to see if it's stuck into the ground. Well, we made her. No seize wheels, no power steering. Oh, it's only because it's got no belt because the pipes are rusted out. And we're off. Let's try them wipers. <laughs> Definitely been sitting. Get that hood down. Absolutely runs like new. Especially on old gas. There she be. It's loaded every option except turbo and all wheel drive. Oh well. And we're off. Some boxer sound. Oh, and we're out of gas. Oops. Sorry, the windshield's too dirty. Just gas first. Nice ride. So here's what we got. We got a bleeder. A rust hole right there. But at least it's in a place that I can get at it to fix it. Now I just gotta drain the stuff out. Works well. Recycled fridge bucket. That didn't take long. Now that I've chipped off all the loose flakes of rust, the hole's easy to see. I just use a screwdriver and a hammer. Now time to use this material. Now time to use this tool to clean it all up. But first I'm gonna burn off the oil so I don't contaminate my tip. Next. Now it's all ground off. 
So wipe all the dust and crap off before you put on the fiberglass reinforced body filler stuff or epoxy or whatever you want to use. Don't touch it with your fingerprints or any oil. So get your Bondo reinforced fiberglass. Duck out from the planes because they're watching you too. That looks good. Mix it really well and get it all put on within five minutes before it gets hard on a warm day. Now pack it on good with your fingers so you make sure it gets pressed in. And nice and thick. So while that's hardening up, sit down, finish the rest of your beer, enjoy the sun. If you want to know how much to charge the customer if you're doing it for somebody else, it's only a one beer job. So that's got to be worth 25 bucks so you can at least get another case of beer. Got to perpetuate, you know.